Hello my sweet, sweet souls. Welcome back. I hope that you are good and that you've had a good few days. So this week we're going to be doing what are their thoughts on you and we are going to be using two decks but before we get going I wanted to teach you something a little bit ancient and a little bit druid. So those of you that read tarot and those of you that read psychically, um, have you ever read an apple? Okay, apples often symbolise in druidry, they symbolise fertility, um, they symbolise the growth, um, if you ever wanted to do fertility magic, the apple is the apple tree is the best one for you to use. Um, the Owen, which is the ancient Celtic druidry of how you read the trees, they obviously have apple trees within them. But what I wanted to do today was, shut that curtain a little bit because that sun is trying to blind me. Um, <laughs> is how to read an apple divinely, how to divinate with an apple. So you guys watching, I'm gonna really get annoyed at that blonde. <laughs> the sun is like, it never shines in England. And then the time that I'm recording, it's like, right, I'm gonna shine on your face. Um, again, druidry, magic, the sun, obviously the sun is a, a God energy. Um, so that energy joining us. What I need you to do is get an apple and a knife. Obviously be careful. Um, as you would be with, when you cut anything. Um, but we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to read an apple before we go into your cards and what they're thinking about you. So, pause it if you can't. <laughs> go to the shop, get an apple, get a knife. And what you do, instead of cutting it downwards, you cut it right through the core. And as you cut it through the core, in fact, I need to go a bit more deep. you will see that this is a pentagram, okay? So you've got the five, I mean, it's this apple is a bit of a dud. You've got the five elements. You go what, earth, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, okay? Now, how this will then work is how you kind of read the tarot. So in my apple, you have the earth, the air, the fire, the water. So I've got one apple seed in earth, I've got none in the air. I've got two apple seeds in fire and two apple seeds in water. So the earth stands for grounding, stability, security and family. So I have an apple seed that says I have that around me. Air, I am a Gemini, but it stands for communication. OK, so I haven't got any in my communication drive. Fire, I've got two, which symbolises the creativity and passion around me. Um, and water, I've also got two. So this is your emotions. So right now off the bat, to read this apple, this says to me that I'm feeling stable in my family grounds. Um, I'm possibly not communicating where I need to be communicating, but I am creating new endeavours um, which will be emotionally fulfilled. And that, my friends, is how you divine read an apple. And you can see on here, perhaps a little bit more, the bit that I took off, the pentagram and how it works. And that, if you haven't done it, is how to divine read an apple. So you can also, if you do read tarot, you can liken it to the tarot. So if you wanted to um, work with this, with the earth, the air, the fire, the water, um, the amount of seeds that you have in each bit. So on the two of cups, two of, would be the two apple seeds in the water. I've got one apple seed up in earth, so that's the ace. Um, and in the fire, I've, there is two in there, so I've got two of ones as well. So this would say um, that I've got uh, stable new beginnings that are going to be family based, new beginnings, emotionally based with love, very strong feelings of love um, and creating what we want. How to divine with an apple. There you go. Bit of druidry for the day. And if you do need me for any druid magic or ceremonies and things like that, just drop me a message or readings. Drop me a message, mysticlovetaro at gmail.com. Enjoy divining your apples. Okay, number one, number two, pick your deck. What is your person thinking about you? Let's go, deck number one. Okay. So as always, it works in the strongest mutual energy with you all. I absolutely love this deck. Um, I haven't used it for a while. The people on it, the tree animal, the tree people don't have eyes. So if you get easily freaked out, just imagine that they've got little sticky bobbly eyes on them. <laughs> Okay, what is your person thinking about you? Let's go. What is your person thinking about you too? My gym membership. 
What is your person thinking about you? Okay, so what I'm getting is um, Michael Jackson's song. Um, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I just had to work out which song it actually was. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. He's asking me to make a change. Um, so your person at this point in time, Spirit's clearly given me that song. Um, they are going through a few dark nights of the soul. They're really thinking about what they want from the situation with you. And they know that perhaps their actions haven't been very good. Perhaps the way they've handled the situation hasn't been very good. And they are reflecting on that. Um, and when we look at the back of this deck... Again, you have this kind of mirror reflection going on. Um, so anything as above, so below, anything that's going on in their outside world is reflecting on their inside world and likewise the other way around. So where they are reflecting on themselves in the mirror and asking themselves where they want to create these changes, this is then going to impact you as it changes on the outside world. And so if it has been a bit sticky, stagnant, crappy, um, not much happening, those changes are now coming into fruition around you. And this is happening now. So where there has been this stagnant energy, where there has been this sense of confusion and not much going on, this has there is a shift happening. They are creating that shift. They're really reflecting what's caused them to create that shift. It's been this sense of confusion, thinking, well, you know what, maybe... I can reach for these goals. I can reach for what I want. Perhaps I am um, able to give you guys watching what it is that you want. I, uh, I gave up and shut the curtains because the sun was really, really blinding me. So they are creating this change around them at this moment in time. They are working out what it is that they want to do with the situation with you and making headway towards you. So what they are thinking about you at the moment is they are having this period of reflection they are reflecting on themselves and what they are doing with their lives and they have this movement towards you and with the seven of cups over here this is talking about the choices around them but in their heart they can see this future of you they can see the kind of marriage they can see the celebration they can see a wedding they can see commitment and that is in their energy for you with temperance popping up next to it it's like this alchemy is happening there is changes going on all around you both and creating movement towards you and from there we've got the page of cups the three of cups and the star so this really showing that they want the future with you and there's going to be offerings if they haven't made offerings yet there is going to be offerings of love coming your way um they are going to be leaving the past behind where they have had this sense of confusion, leaving that behind, really making headway towards you, coming towards you with a stronger future. And that is where the celebration happens. I also feel that some of you will be going to parties, celebrations and things along those lines. Um, where you will be meeting your person and you will be communicating to each other about your emotions and your feelings. We have changes coming all around you with the star about being on the right path, making progress and heading forward. The owl, again, Druidry symbolising the changes that are happening between the two of you. Um, really with the darker nights as well. So timing wise you're highlighting this point in time where you are at the moment going into the darker nights this is where you're going to have the most growth of your person so that was actually a really really quick reading what they are thinking about you and you know let's kind of quit while we're ahead it's really really positive what they are thinking about you is they want this to work out they would like this to progress between the two of you. They can see a future of you. They've been doing a lot of internal work. They've been doing a lot of healing work and they now see that the pathway between you both is highlighted and they can move towards that. They are creating changes for this to happen. Also with that spirit saying to me that they are planning different aspects of their life. They're planning their life goals and what they want to do and their aspirations and dreams and making headway to achieve all of that and they want you by their side for that as well so that's really really positive so your person's thoughts about you are really positive they want a future with you they're going to work towards it um and let's go with it they're, they're basically saying yeah let's let's give this a shot <sighs> cracking reading that really isn't it really really positive you couldn't ask for a better reading really could you um 
perhaps there's a little bit of immaturity that's going to come with them. If you do find that they are backtracking a little bit, um, just being an allowance of that, because if, if you let them go, they will wander back towards you. You don't need to worry about that. They do see a pathway ahead um, between the two of you where you guys can, can work together and, and be together. So really, really positive. So your apple, your apples right from the start over here, um, where would your apples be? They would be very much in the water energy. They'd be very much in the emotional energy of things progressing between the two of you and emotionally stabilizing. Um, a lot of cups energy out of the five cards you picked, you've got three cups energy and two major arcanas. So very emotionally grounding, very aware of their feelings for you um, and the majors next to them saying, yeah, the, the, this journey is here, big things are happening between you guys in their thought process. Um, and I like the way the majors are at each side. So where perhaps the temperance at the start, where perhaps it's been this little bit of everything taking its time, you now are heading towards the star. You can really clearly see the journey between the two of you. And from temperance to seven of cups, so the alchemy creating the changes around you, up to the page of cups as they come towards you making offers. And these offers come in the form of celebrations and meeting up saying let's go for it and the star at the end let's make this path work and that is what your person is thinking about you and your future and that's deck number one i love that really really positive reading okay let's see let's go with deck number two so if you just tapped in tuned in turned on uh deck number two we div divinely read an apple first and foremost i just wanted to teach you guys a little bit of druidry um, and obviously if you need me uh just drop me a message, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com or DM me on Instagram or Facebook. Okay, think about your person for me. Let's go into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. Yeah, but you never read. Love how to divinely read an apple. And if you want an apple reading, let me know and I'll go buy some more and I can read your apples for you. Okay, let's see. What is your person thinking about you? So we're starting off the reading with the Page of Pentacles, moving on to the Five of Swords and the Empress. What are they thinking about you? Four, two of Pentacles. Let's have both of them because they jump together. And then crowning the reading with the Magician and the Ace of Swords. Okay, what is your person thinking about you? So let's start on the heavier energy. You might have found that this situation has been a bit stagnant around you. You might have found that they've given you a little bit and taken a little bit away and that perhaps they've put the lid on it on a couple of occasions just to simply open up the box a few days later or a few weeks later. Possible ghosting and then texting communication. And if you are not in communication at the moment, be aware that this communication is coming back round to you. So their thoughts on you at this moment in time, they're keeping a lid on it, okay? So they haven't really allowed you into their emotions or expressed their emotions for you. The reason why um, is because they are trying to keep balanced on the situation at this point in time. Um, there is clear evidence that in the past energy, they have been hurt. Um, they have almost been betrayed by a couple of people within their lives and it doesn't have to be exes it can come back to kind of childhood wounds and trauma and it's almost this once bitten twice shy situation there is a sense of wanting this connection to transform but at the moment they are just keeping a lid on it and they're not really doing much about it they are thinking about you. You are in the back of their mind. Um, and even if they're kind of not allowing you into that and they haven't expressed that to you, do know that you do pop into their thought process. You do. And um, so you're not just kind of vanished into the sunset if you guys aren't talking. You are still there. And often um, things will remind them of you and spirits saying songs. So specifically songs will remind them of you and you will really, really strongly be back in their energy. Um, they haven't handled the situation very well. You guys watching this are probably feeling a little bit confused and a little bit wounded, a bit hurt. Um, and really kind of unsure of where you are standing with it because they haven't told you that. The reason also why your person hasn't told you where you stand with them is because they want to keep the door open for you. Um, and whilst they're in this kind of state of confusion and taking their time with everything, they um, they don't want to shut the door on you. So they won't tell you how they're feeling or what's going on in their head. 
and that's also going to be leaving you confused so that's where your energy is at the moment. Where we're going with that, we've got the Empress and the Page of Pentacles, okay? So the Empress really symbolizing new beginnings over here, um, fertility, um, if you are wanting children, etc., etc., this will be your pregnancy card. So that's coming into this, the, the choices of um, fertility whether it's kids, but it's also talking about what you want to bring into your life. So your person with the page of pentacles and the empress next to it, your person is going to be communicating to you their hopes, their dreams, their aspirations and their ideas of where they want this to go. They can see a future with you. They're going to say that they see you in a very nurturing energy, a very kind energy, and they can see you in a mother role slash father role. It's that nurturing energy, that beautiful uh, divine being. With a womb energy, whenever we connect with a womb energy, this is about giving birth to life. So with the page of pentacles next to the empress, this is them making an offering of new life to you. You guys building and growing this connection, okay? Now with all manifestations, and we've got the magician at the top, the magician ace of swords crown in the reading with all manifestations they do take time to come into reality you wouldn't just go out and have sex one day and then give birth the next day you have a whole nine month gestation period and that is kind of what's happening with you guys as well and um, where you are at the moment where it's been a bit heavy and not much happening it's having this gestation period around you guys so that new life can be created between you both and you can build the relationship in the direction that you want it to with the ace of swords crowning the reading as well and um, this is new beginnings happening and it is new beginnings that are going to be very openly communicated about so if you are wondering how they're feeling and what they're thinking they will express their emotions to you they will express that they want this connection to work out they will express that um they see that you can have a good life together and build a life um they will express that to you but it is just taking a little bit of time it's taking a bit of time now with the page of pentacles kind of popping in and um, sometimes there can be a little bit of immaturity based around this but what's really really important for you to know is that the page of pentacles will talk about stability and will talk about security with you and um, so when they do come back round um, and the situation does feel a bit lighter and it does change, the dynamic changes between the two of you. They're going to be talking from a very stable, based, grounding energy that you can build a life together. You can build a future together. So that's really, really important. And again, the Ace of Swords highlights that. So they're going to be coming towards you, communicating that they can see a stable beginning with you and they want to build on that. They want to make that grow. Now, I'm just going to ask how we're going to get from here, where you are at the moment, this is where you are at the moment, to here with the, the, the bonding and growing energy, what's going to transform in that time? What will be the transformation? Okay, the transformation will be the Eight of Swords. Okay, so what's going to be happening is they are going to be feeling a little bit stuck with the situation. Perhaps you guys are going to get really fed up with them and you're like, right, you know what? This isn't really going anywhere. I don't really know if this is something that I want to be wasting my time or energy on. And with that, when that happens, when that feeling of being stuck comes up around them, that is when they will make those moves towards you. Sometimes it is releasing and surrendering situations and people that brings them to your door quicker. And that is what's going to happen here. So where they are at the moment, where you're feeling hurt and painful, um, a bit of downtime, a bit of time away from the situation, a bit of time out will make them feel stuck. They will then drop the chains and bonds of these feelings over here, releasing that, making these moves towards you, basing themselves on that stability and security and heading towards open communication to build the relationship back up. So that's your future energy. So their thoughts about you at this very point in time is they're just keeping a bit of a lid on it. They're not allowing their emotions to come up to the surface or expressing them for you. And they're trying to keep balance. They are very much in their head over it, not really listening to their heart. Um, but that is where these fears will come up to the surface. And when these fears come up to the surface and there is a worry of loss, that will create the move. And that's that number two. So if you need me, just drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. I love you all to pieces. Um, I really hoped... Oh, so yeah, if we were going to look at you guys and your apple... My, my pentagram's not doing very well on here now. If we were going to look at you, you guys and your pentagram of your apple, it would be very much of the air energy. 
Um, so your seeds are likely to be in an air energy. And if they're not, don't panic about it. Um, <laughs> but this is where the connection is at the moment, very much in the mind. And as you progress forward, um, you are going to be going into the earth energy where it's feeling more stable. There is a transition between the air, the communication and the earth. And that would help you read your apple. Okay, guys, uh, drop me a message, mrlotaro.gmail.com. Love you all and I'll speak to you later. Ciao.